Hey everyone, this is John from JohnLoomer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. And this is part of a continuing series on Facebook Timeline for Pages tutorials. And today we're going to focus on uh, adding milestones to your timeline. So adding previous events. And first thing I would do, check out Coca-Cola for inspiration. They do a really nice job with this. Um, so basically they go back through time and um, and make new entries that are not only about their brand but really how their brand was related to the world and what was going on in the world and you could spend a lot of time wasting away uh, reading through this it's just really cool so they have video they have photos they have status updates they have a little bit of everything and uh, it's really the kind of thing you want to strive for we're not all coca-cola but uh, we want to make that kind of connection they're making so how you do it, um, it's simple. And, and first thing, you know, on your personal profile, personal timeline, it's kind of complicated when you're, you're adding a, a life event because uh, they give you so many options when you add a life event. It's whether you're adding a job or a new relationship or home or pet or it just goes on. There are dozens of options. A milestone is just a milestone. That's all it is. Quick milestone comes up, um, add in your event. And location, you don't have to do one, but um, let's just do it anyway. So I'll show you because this is where the, the maps come in. And uh, say we did that in 2012. And then uh, choose a photo. So it's really not even worth adding unless you have a photo. In most cases, I mean, if you've got a story story to tell. That's, that's what uh, photos are for. So there's my director of operations. Um, let's see here. And then uh, go ahead. You can hide it from your news feed. There's really no reason to do that. I mean, if you're going to hide it, then why add it anyway? Because otherwise you're not going to find it anyway, more than likely. Go ahead and save it. All right. So there he is. So I added my director of operations in 2012. So there it is. And um, I personally like to highlight it so it stretches, especially if you're looking in the past, if you're adding things during dates, if you didn't have anything there before, if you have a really nice photo. I mean, if I had a bigger photo here, it would be even better. Um, but, it, you know, if you don't want to stretch, then you just do that and uh, you unhighlight it. It's actually kind of nice that way as well. Um, so that's how you do that, and you can also do it just by, if you find a date on the timeline, you're like, oh, I remember something that happened here. Oh. What's going on? Oh, there it is. Go in here, and then your little plus will come up, and you can add a milestone. Same thing. So that's it. It's really simple. That's how you add a milestone to your Facebook page's timeline. And uh, for more information on this, you can go to johnloomer.com or like my page on Facebook at John Loomer Digital. Thanks.